don't base it on the results. Don't base it on your results. Because if you base it on your results, you're not going to recognize the new awareness, the new intelligence, the new knowledge. You're not going to base it on any of the improvements you've made. You, if you don't understand that it takes a long time to achieve anything great, you'll, you'll think you're losing and you'll give up long before... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very special, as always, episode of Next Level University, where we teach you how to level up your life, your love, your health, and your wealth. We hope you enjoyed our latest episode. It was last week's live podcast, How to Take Back Control of Your Health. Today, for episode number 702, 702 episodes. Wild. wild. If you do not feel like you're making progress, listen to this. So, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're trying to figure out the exact focus of the camera. If you're listening to this, that does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. So, I was on a coaching call with somebody the other day, and this, pa this person basically said, I don't feel like I'm where I should be. And I said, okay, you have to understand this. Like, this is an interesting, important thing for you to understand. You have grown more in the last eight months than you have grown in your entire life. Yes, you've grown in terms of awareness, but the problem is when it comes to awareness and knowledge, the results take a lot longer to get to you. And it was interesting because I had another coaching call yesterday and we went over the same thing. This person and I were talking and we were mentioning somebody who we know who made $40,000 in an hour, basically. And she said, can you imagine doing that? And I said, I can imagine that now more than ever. And we went through like, why? And I said, well, because at one point I was charging $50 for like a client and now we have clients who pay us multiple thousands of dollars and at one point we were doing all of our speeches for free and we've gotten paid thousands of dollars to speak so like all of the things that I wanted are already kind of here in a way it's just not at the level that I want eventually and we're on track we're on the trajectory of that it's just a matter of I think you have to look at the proof and I think the proof's hard if you don't actually see the results yet what's even harder too is a lot of people don't set goals because they don't know how, but what's fascinating is you won't know how until you set the goal. Mm. And I think that's also kind of part of this episode. Again, this was Kevin's idea, but that's another thing that I want to bring to the table. So when you set a goal, let's say, um, let's say you want a certain dream physique, just because you don't know how, some people don't set the goal. It's like, well, I don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to set the goal. What if, what if it was the opposite? You actually should set the goal and then go figure out how. Mm. And I think that requires self-belief. But awareness actually, it's interesting because yes, awareness comes first and results lag. But in a way, awareness doesn't come until you set a goal. And that's what, uh, that's what I talked to this person about. I said, she said, I don't know how it's going to happen. And I said, it's going to happen with the stuff that you're already doing. You don't know when or where it's going to happen yet. It's going to happen through you podcasting, speaking, and coaching. At some point. Like, it's going to happen through the things that you're doing. We already kind of know the vehicles. We just don't know when, where, or quote-unquote, how in the specific sense. Can you go back to a time when you didn't feel this way? Like, um, what's a better question than that? So you used to somewhat wing it. Oh, yeah. In terms sure. of... Like you kind of knew what you wanted, but you King didn't of winging it. Yeah, you were you were winging it a little bit, and now you're not. Now it's by design, and now you understand you have higher awareness than you do results, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, for sure. What's one example of an awareness you have now that the results haven't come yet, but you know that they they will because of the compound effect? I think us when it comes to podcasting of. I think the knowledge that we have in terms of growing a, po a podcast, we just don't have like the outward results, but like compared to compared to somebody who hasn't started a podcast, we are like world-class experts. Right. But you might not know that yet because you're waiting for the results of like, well, you guys haven't had like Matthew McConaughey on and you guys aren't living in mansions yet. And it's like, I think for most people, that's what they need to, me, including me, that's what I needed to see to believe that somebody was an actual expert. So for me, I think one of the reasons, I mean, if, you, if you've watched us or listened to us, you might have heard me say this before, but like my struggle with self-belief, excuse me, is because I don't understand how valuable I am because I think a lot of times I base how valuable I am on how valuable the things I have are. 
Right, the, the things I have is depending on if it's a, a solo thing or multiples. But I think that's how most people live. It's like, yeah, I've been doing personal development like really, really deeply for the last eight months and I've learned so much about myself, but my external world hasn't changed. Yeah. And it's like, well, no, but your internal state has changed, which is going to make your external state change eventually. So another good example of this too would be, so this podcast, we're about to surpass a half a million listens. That doesn't mean we don't have the awareness now to create 10 million listeners. We just, it's a matter of time. Now, maybe we don't have all of the awareness we need to accelerate that in a quick amount of time, but these are concepts that are really hard to understand because just because I don't have my dream physique yet, and just so everyone knows, just for reference, I chose in advance to have um, a specific physique. It was Steve Cook on stage at Olympia in 2017 and I have the photo and again I don't want to be Steve Cook I want to be Alan Lazarus but this is the the best physique that I believe is natural that I can strive for but just because I don't have that physique yet does not mean I don't have the awareness to attain it Mm. because between sleep hydration nutrition training and mobility I do believe I have the awareness to attain it it's just going to take a long time to build sometimes it takes time and I think that a lot of people don't have that understanding of like and Dave Meltzer talks about this all the time, which is you, if you don't understand that it takes a long time to achieve anything great, you'll you'll think you're losing and you'll give up long before. And it's this weird thing where it's like, have you heard that saying? If you, okay, insanity, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. I've never fully, I've never fully agreed with that. Here's why. You and I can do the same thing over and over and over and over again and expect a different result because of the compound effect. Mm. We had more listens in one week than the entire first year doing the same type of thing. The same thing, podcasting. Now, are we better at it? Yes. Are we better at marketing? Yes. Do we have a bigger team? Yes. But that's never really resonated because, you know, Michael Jordan practicing the chest pass and foul shots is what he was doing when he was in high school, but yet he's farther along on the compound effect and he's doing those same fundamentals at a different level. And so that, that never really fully resonated with me. So if you're out there listening right now, you might actually have the awareness that you need to get to a certain end result. You just might need to be patient. And again, be careful with patience because that means I'm not saying you need to, you know, sit and wait. Patience does not mean sit and wait. What I mean is like take the actions every single day and then let the, the compound effect start working for you. I think momentum is 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 key in this. Well, it's hard because the title of this is if you're if you don't feel like you're making progress, listen listen to this. You might not be doing the right things. Right. That's so that is a completely different topic which it's hard to just blanket statement and say like here's how you know whether or not you're doing the right things. But I think that it's one of those things that I used to say this, and it's not true because it's the math I'm sure doesn't line up, but I used to say, like, it's 99% of this is, like, getting to what you want. Like, the last thing you actually get is what you want. Like, most of this is the journey. Oh, for sure. And I just think it's a deeper understanding of, and again, this is something that I've struggled with, the, the perspective and the impact of time. And, like, the people that you look up to are probably, they've been doing it for just a lot longer than you. For sure. Almost across the board. Almost always. But the the thing is, you don't know, and we've talked about this, you don't know Taylor Swift when she's playing in somebody's back backyard barbecue. Right. You know her when she's on stage in front of 75,000 people. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean she wasn't playing at somebody's barbecue You know, for 10 out of the 15 years she's been performing. Right. If not more. If not more. And I think it's that... It's interesting. I saw a video Gary Vee posted of like... some. There was a kid... And he's like, usually my advice, if you've been doing it for a while and you haven't sprung yet, is like, just keep doing what you're doing. And this kid, I think, said like, I've done 300 videos and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, maybe it's it's time to change something, change the process or whatever it may be. And we've changed a lot of things. Right. But the every episode. Right. But the core thing is always the vehicle is the same. Yeah. The vehicle. And this is what I told the person I was talking to. I said, you have to understand that the vehicle is how you're going to get the $30,000 in an hour. Mm-hmm. We, we can do the paint job. We're going to do oil changes along the way. We're going to change the tires. We're going to make sure it's running well. We're going to make sure the directions. But at the end of the day, it's your vehicle. So if you're a speaker, it's speaking. 
If you're a podcaster, it's some form of podcasting or speaking or coaching. It's in the umbrella of what you're doing. Um, but I think that's an important distinction. Like, what is the vehicle that's going to make you the success that you want? The great analogy here, too, is the GPS. So, like, do you have an address plugged in your destination, in your GPS? D- does your GPS know where you're starting from? I know Anthony Trucks talked about this on the, on the podcast. Yes. And then what's the vehicle that you're going to do to get there? You might have to redesign the vehicle, but it is still a car. Yeah. I think that's the key. Or a truck. Or it's some form of a vehicle. And we're gonna actually going to do an episode this week on your genius zone. The, the title is what? The title is, what is your superpower? What is your superpower? So for me, I have four main things that I focus on just for reference. Team development, which is basically coaching the NLU team, including Kevin in some cases. Mm-hmm. Second is coaching and consulting. Third is podcasting. And fourth is public speaking. Those are my four vehicles. And if you had to add a fifth one, it would be writing books, which I've not gone down that road enough yet. I obviously don't have any books yet. But like those are the vehicles that I intend to serve the world with. And Kevin's, we, we determine what those are regularly. You know, podcast consulting is one of the main ones. You know, he's decided in advance to be a world-class expert in that arena and to help people grow, scale, and start their podcasts. Start, grow, and scale their podcasts. The question here is not about Kevin or I. It's, it's what is your vehicle? And maybe you're on the end of, I already know a lot of, and I've already made a lot of the changes. The compound effect just hasn't caught up yet. Or maybe you're on the end of, honestly, I haven't expert, I haven't mastered my craft enough yet. Or maybe I haven't even found my vehicle yet. And so it's important to understand where you fall on that spectrum. And I think it's difficult. That's why I love coaching so much is because on a podcast, we can't speak directly to only one of you. Hi, everyone. My name is Bianca Thomas. I am the host of the Y Power podcast, and I'm also a client of both Kevin and Alan. I had the absolute pleasure and honor and honestly, the blessing of meeting both of these extraordinary men at the beginning of their journey, you know, when the Hyperconscious podcast was just at its beginning. And to keep it short and sweet, these two guys have completely changed my life. Because of them, I've been able to really learn how to love myself, to express myself, to go past my fears and have the courage to do things that I never thought I would have done, like having my own podcast. I'm a little over time, but I just want to say, you know, if there's anyone out there who wants a coach, who wants help, who wants two people to lean on, it's these two guys. They are rare, extraordinary men, and I'm so lucky to have them in my life. I just got a new client, and her name's Gabby, and I'm so excited. Shout out to Gabby. And she was in group coaching, and she had mentioned, like, is it going to be just like group coaching? Like, what's it going to be? I said, the format is the same. Mm-hmm. It's biweekly coaching. It's peak performance tracking. It's understanding where you want to go, where you are now, and how to get there. But it's going to be completely customized to you. The attention is different. It's completely based on Gabby, like the coaching. And that's why on this podcast, Kevin and I want to change your lives. But we can only do it to such an extent because we're we're casting a wider net. Whereas if it's you specifically... You have specific goals, dreams, aspirations, core values, beliefs. We ha- we have to dig in, and you can't give the same medicine to everybody and expect everybody to react the same way. It's got to be customized, um, and I think that that's you know important to understand. I think it's perspective. I think that's one of the things that I've told other people, and I think that's helped me. When people say like, "How do you, how do you know where you're going?" A lot of times for me, since I don't necessarily have the vision of like knowing exactly where we're going, I just look at the breadcrumbs of the past of like, again, you know, 700 episodes. So obviously we're doing something right. We're half a million listens. Obviously we're doing something right. You and I are scaling with our money means we're doing something right. So like whatever we're doing seems to be working. Whatever is not working, we're constantly trying to tweak. And I think it's just a process of elimination of like, well, we've done this and that seems to be working. We've done this, like that hasn't worked so well. Okay, what can we improve? I think it it really is that. It's like, what's working that you can improve? What's not working that you can improve? What's not working that isn't supposed to be in the boat? You know, like 
when you go tuna fishing, you throw everything else back. Like you don't keep the small fish. Right. So it might not be right. So if you don't feel like you're making progress, I'd look back. Look back at when you started. I think the other thing too is like, how often have you forgotten things that used to work? Like we, I know we have. Oh, for sure. So that's another thing is like, I, I recently looked back and was thinking, and we're going to do an episode on morning routine. When my routine was the most dialed in, it's like, I, I forgot a lot of that because I wasn't going anywhere because it was COVID. Like my routine was awesome during COVID. Rock solid. And then like the gyms opened up and then things kind of shifted. So it's like, if you don't feel like you're making progress, I want you to look back on how far you've actually come. Don't base it on the results. Don't base it on your results. Because if you base it on your results, you're not going to recognize the new awareness, the new intelligence, the new knowledge. You're not going to base it on any of the improvements you've made. You're only going to base it on the lack of change in your life. And the change is what comes last. Very last question before we go, because we got 30 seconds on the timer. And I think it's an important question. And I'm just going to ask it to Kevin directly. How do you know that your expectations are, are correct of what to expect in terms of results? I don't. I don't think you... I don't. I don't. Because I'm not the visionary... Again, it's... it's. I'd answer this question differently if I was on another podcast, probably. But, like, I trust that you have the vision. I, okay, what if you didn't have that? What would you do? I think I would just keep doing what I'm doing. And every time I get to a new level of the mountain I'd say like oh okay this is possible so like let me shoot my goal a little bit further I don't know I don't know that I would even have the same goals I'm not sure I think one thing that's important is hire it out well if for, you don't yeah. feel like you have the vision yeah. get someone who does in your yeah. corner in yeah. your corner yeah, um because, but that that's interesting though I, I especially love, somebody who's done it right so somebody who's done it before because they know how to see around the corner for sure yeah what about before you believed in coaching like what did you used to do prior to prior to even having any vision whatsoever like let's say someone is like old kevin before the podcast they want to wish for stuff and they want to do this law of attraction thing and they want to get connected to big goals like how do they get started i what always worked for me and this was all in the physical world because fitness was the first thing I ever kind of reverse engineered. But I would research what worked for other people. Then I would take action on it. And then I would hone it. Like that's kind of how I got in shape was like, I, was, I think I was like 16. I said, look, I want to sign up to this gym down the street. I'm going to go do it. I researched what workouts worked for people. And again, like take that with a grain of salt because they never tell you what actually works in the magazines. But <laughs> then I would go to the gym and test it. And then based on my results, I would make shifts. Right. But I think like this success thing is just so different that like there's so many inputs you can do. There's so many different ways to be successful. Um, if, I, if I had to start all of this over and I had no idea what the vision was, I would focus probably on like one or two things. Like, I would focus on the podcast and try to get as humanly, as good as humanly possible, whatever that meant. And then when I felt like I was as good as I could get in terms of like, okay, this is the best I've ever gotten and I feel like I'm starting to get like good interviews, then I would probably branch off into something else. But it's such a hard question. Right. And I can't ask you the question because you've had the vision. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I think that's a really good question. I'm stressed out that I don't have a good answer. It's all good. I think this was super valuable. Genuinely. I think it's a I think it's one of those things of like hire it out, yes. But you kind of got to know what's working. Like track your track your analytics. You got to know like okay, last year I made $26,000 and this is what I did. Like I spent 80% of my time doing this last year and I made $26,000. Okay, this year I've spent 80% of my time doing this and I've already made $34,000. Okay, cool. What are those things? I think that would probably be beneficial is like get a handle on what you're actually doing. Right. What's working and double down on it. That's and what what's not say. working and get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Easier said than done because I know it's it's hard it's easy to get lost in the forest when you're when you're there. What you just said was experimentation. Like go try things, you know, study, practice and then 
look at the results and then double down on what's working. Yeah. And just keep iterating. Keep the car running. Whatever the car is, keep the car running while doing maintenance on the road. Right. That's what I would say because I think that's what we've done and that's there's a reason we haven't missed an episode. It's not because we wanted to do 700. It's because we this is the vehicle. If this stops running, everything stops running. Literally. And then you guys go listen to another podcast because we're not here anymore. Right. You dig it? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to announce, very excited, let me, let me repeat myself, very excited one more time, <laughs> that we actually just launched our first online course. It is up on nextleveluniverse.com. You'll see a little course tab. If you click on that, it'll take you right to it. So it is what it really takes to get to the next level. It is the things that we have determined over the last few years last, I guess, several years at this point, um, between our guests, between our own learnings, between our experiences, our failures, what it really takes to, to get to the next level. Basic stuff, easy stuff, easy to digest, but it'll be very, very impactful. $47, a bargain. If you do not get value, you can return it for a full refund in the first 30 days. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's literally just the fundamentals that we think will help you guys because it still helps us day in and day out. And... We want you to get to the next level. So uh, the only thing I want to say about this is Kevin and I have are very blessed to be successful, but we it took us five years. And if we could take this course at the beginning, trust me, it would not have taken us this long. Mm-hmm. You know, hundreds of interviews, 800 plus coaching calls for me. I know Kevin has hundreds, you know, 350 masterminds, 115 speeches, blah, blah, blah. All of that is condensed into the tried and true fundamentals that Kevin and I believe will accelerate your success. And it's it's basically in Mario Kart, you got to go off track a little bit to get onto that booster and then it boosts you ahead of that next person. And I think that's what this is, is like, don't be afraid to go and take this course. Invest that time. Invest that $47. It's not even that much money, but I promise you it will accelerate your growth and your contribution. It'll accelerate your success and your results. There's no question. There's no version of you taking that course where you don't accelerate. And if you don't, money back guarantee within 30 days. That's why we made it, like, again, we made it $47 because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want to charge $1,000 for my course. And it's like, look, I want to help you guys who can't afford one on one coaching, who aren't really in a good position right now for group coaching. Right. Like, I spend more when I go get pizza. So it's like, okay, that's a reasonable thing. And again, you know us. You you know that we're all about delivering value to you. Like 30 days, money back guarantee. We don't we don't want your money if we're not helping you. So. And there's worksheets too. You'll do real work in a real meaningful way. So you dig it? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow for episode number 703, it is last week's Q&A from our live podcast. How do I focus on my health when those around me don't care about it? That is very, very difficult. Uh, I know you and I have been blessed because we have people who are into fitness, but I know a lot of people do not. So make sure you tune into that if that question resonates with you. We love you. We appreciate you. And as always, we do not have fans. We have family. We will talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye.